The eastern and southeastern Finns, most notably the Savonians, Karelians, and related groups developed in a frontier zone between the Baltic world and the forests and river systems of Eastern Europe. From the Viking Age onward, these regions were integrated into long-distance exchange networks linking Scandinavia, the Baltic Finns, and the East Slavic world. Savonian and Karelian communities interacted closely with Vikings traveling the river routes toward the Volga and Dnieper, as well as with Estonians across the Gulf of Finland. Through these networks, Eastern Finns exchanged furs, wax, and forest products, gaining access to silver, weapons, and prestige goods. Slavic influence became especially pronounced through contact with Kievan Rus, which controlled key river corridors and urban centers like Novgorod. Eastern Finns were not passive subjects but active participants in this sphere, contributing manpower, tribute, and trade goods while maintaining their own language and customs. During the Swedish Third Crusade in 1293 and the founding of Vyberg, Swedish chronicles imply organized resistance by Karelian leaders aligned with Novgorod. The Novgorod First Chronicle frequently mentions Karelians acting collectively in warfare and raids against Sweden and Tavastia. Again, personal names are absent, but Karelians are treated as political actors allied with Novgorod, not merely subjects. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of 11 Eastern and Southeastern Finns from Harvard's Adder Plus v 62 dataset. I used Plink to convert the samples from Eigenstrat format into microarray format. Then, I used Admix Tools too, but also my trait predictor to analyze their genomes. According to FST statistics, the Eastern Finns are closely related to other Finns, Karelians, and even Krasnoborsk Russians. The Estonians, although historically related to the Eastern Finns, plot further because they carry much less Neo-Siberian ancestry. F2 statistics, which are less susceptible to low heterozygosity, show the Estonians among the top three most closely related ethnicities to the Eastern Finns. Interestingly, the Eastern Finns are more closely related to Basques than they are to the Sami or Udmurts, and are more closely related to Yemenites than the Monsi, showing us that they are genetically very much European and, despite carrying some Siberian ancestry, still clearly plot with Europeans. This Neolithic QPADM model on the East and Southeast Finns finds 8% Neo-Siberian ancestry in them. The dominant component was the Anatolian farmer component, which they score 28% of. The East Finns are among the European populations with the highest hunter-gatherer contribution. They score 28% Eastern and 15% Western hunter-gatherer with this model. They were also found to carry 15% Caucasus and 5% Zagrosian ancestry. This Bronze Age QPADM model on the East and Southeast Finns finds 9% Neo-Siberian ancestry in them. The dominant component is the Proto-Indo-European corded ware component, which accounts for over half of Finnish ancestry, making the Eastern Finns among the most Indo-European populations in Europe. The Finns carry 31% globular amphora ancestry, and additionally 6% excess hunter-gatherer admixture associated with the Baltic Narva culture. Here's an Iron Age QPADM model for the East and Southeast Finns. According to this model, they carry 33% Germanic ancestry, together with 29% Sami-like ancestry, 20% Iron Age Ingrian ancestry, which are all the core components found in Finns. However, they carry one more component which typically isn't found in Finns, and it is the 17% Slavic ancestry that they carry. Now let's move on to their trait predictor results. Every male sample was found to carry the Uralic Y lineage N1A1. The most common predicted phenotype was Proto-Nordid, although there were Alpinid and Balted samples too. Most common predicted eye color was blue. Most common predicted hair color was dark blonde, which just over half of the samples had. No sample had red or black hair. Skin colors ranged from pale white to dark olive. Hair textures ranged from straight to curly. No sample was predicted to have kinky hair. Nose shapes leaned toward aquiline. Male pattern baldness was prevalent, but somewhat less than what is typical in Europeans. The Finns showed a high predisposition to lactase persistence, high empathy, and high odds of autism. The Finns scored average for odds of Tourette's, low for odds of depression, and low for odds of bipolar disorder type 1. The Finns scored very high for odds of hemoglobin E disease, high for odds of Alzheimer's, and average for odds of corneal astigmatism. The Eastern Finns were predicted to have very high levels of bad LDL cholesterol and quite low levels of good HDL cholesterol. Their odds of atrial fibrillation were average, and their odds for a wide variety of cardiovascular issues were high. 
the Finns showed a moderate predisposition to type 2 diabetes. They were quite protected from Zyprexa-induced obesity, obesity in general based on FTO genotypes, and had an average predisposition to syncope. About half of the Eastern Finns sampled carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in J, A, K2. Almost all samples, except one, carried KITLG risk variants for testicular cancer. Three samples carried NQO1 risk variants for leukemia. Three out of 11 samples were predicted to have a high risk for autoimmune disease based on HLA genotype. One sample carried HFE risk variants for hemochromatosis, also known as the Celtic curse. About half of the samples carried risk variants for blue-yellow colorblindness in OPN1SW. It is likely that about half of these samples carried blood type O. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in the description.